Hi, in this video, I will show you how to build a simple dice roller in Android Studio. By the end of this video, you will be able to do this. Let's get started. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open Android Studio. Click New Project. Click Next. Write the project name Simple Dice Roller. Write the package name. I am going to save the project on my desktop. For language, select Java and for minimum SDK, select API 21 or Android 5.0 Lollipop. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. I will copy the images in Drawable folder. Let's check out the image dimensions. Paste inside Drawable V24 folder. Let's quickly create a directory called raw and put the mp3 file inside it. Go to activity underscore main dot xml and first I will change this constant layout to linear layout. Delete this text view since we don't need it. Delete this line. Change the orientation of this root linear layout to vertical. By default it is horizontal. Change the background image of this linear layout. Give some padding. Add a text view for title. Give ID for the root linear layout because we will be referring this linear layout from Java code. Create a shape in Drawable folder. Delete the selected tags. Define a shape. Add solid color and stroke.
go to activity underscore main dot xml and refer this xml in text view. Add a linear layout to display two vertically aligned die images. Check the design. Perfect. Open main activity. In the class scope, store the thread sleep time in an integer variable. Store the number of dice roll animations per execution. Store the IDs for dice images in an integer array. Define a random object. Declare view object references. Declare a media player object reference. From the onCreate method, find the views. Instantiate the media player object. For context, pass this and for the audio file, pass r.raw.roll. Attach onclick listener with dice container. Press Alt Enter and implement the onclick method. In a try block, call roll dice method to show the dice roll animation. We will define this method below. Press 
press alt enter and create the method roll dice in roll dice method define a runnable object in the run method use a for loop to iterate some code to show rolling dice animation in the for loop generate two random numbers between 1 and 6 and store them in two integer variables let's change the name of these variables to avoid confusion get the image ids from dice images array using the above random numbers as array index then set the image views for die1 and die2 with them in a try block slip the thread for a smooth animation define a thread object and pass the runnable object in the constructor start the thread this will cause the run method to be called where all the dice rolling animation happens If the media player object is not null then start playing the music Go to values themes.xml and add this style tag to make your app full screen Let's run the emulator. Run the app. Oops, we can still see the action bar here. Let's fix that. Go to manifest and refer the theme that we have written in themes.xml. run the app again perfect thanks for watching
If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.